what's up baddies welcome and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be installing this wig if you guys would like the deets stay tuned don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos okay period <laughs> So to get started, I'm going in with my Eben Lock and Pomade Edge Gel, and I like to use this to just brush my edges back. Let's not talk about my braids. I'm gonna slip on a wig cap. This is in the shade dark brown. So the wig we're gonna be using today is from Love Me Hair. This is the five by five deep wave unit in 20 inches. So that's the closure part. I already bleached the knots, as you can tell. It has three, well, four combs in it. I'm gonna take out that middle comb. It comes with adjustable straps and like an adjustable band, which is really great. So I'm gonna clean off my hairline with an alcohol. Next, I'm gonna apply some makeup under the lace of the wig so that the lace can match my skin tone better. So to lay my lace, I'm going to be using this Even Lace Wig Adhesive. This is my first time ever using this. So I'm just going to apply it like normal. I'm just gonna do two layers, nothing too much. So before I apply my wig, I'm hot combing those loose hairs back. We're just gonna pull the wig forward and lay it gently. And then I'm gonna press firmly with my comb to get it into place. So now I'm gonna use an elastic band to make sure it melts into my hairline and prepare to style my unit so this hair feels just like butter like ah this is the first time in a long time i've had curly hair that was super super soft i couldn't believe this came from love me hair so i'm gonna be making my the part area flat with my wax stick and hot comb like always I lost the clip where I cut the lace. I'm so sorry, you guys, but I just cut it like how I usually do it with an eyebrow razor, not a straight line. So after I cut off my lace, I'm gonna use my elastic band again. To get that part back right, I'm going to be going in with this black spray. I'm just going to carefully spray so it won't look crazy. 
and I like to go back in with my hot comb on top of it just to make sure it's completely dry so here I'm cutting off another piece of lace and then now we're gonna section off our baby hairs I don't want my baby hairs to be too thick I want them to look more on the natural side so we're just gonna section that out until I get the perfect amount So now to get my curls back popping, I'm just going in with some water from the spray bottle. It's just plain water. So now I'm thinning out my baby hairs a little because that was too thick for my liking. But just go ahead and get into the melt, you guys. Just get into the melt. We're not even done yet, but get into that melt. So now I'm using the same eyebrow razor I used to cut my lace to cut my baby hairs. Then I'm going to curl it with this really, really small curling iron. I got it from the beauty supply store. And I'm going to spray some spritz on my edge comb just to lay those edges down. So next for my curls, I'm going in with the Tresemme Mousse and I'm going to use that to make my curls very defined so that when my hair dries up, it won't become poofy or as poofy. And you guys, look at the finished look, period. I ate that. Ate that right on up. Look at it.
So now I'm trying to like get my hair a little looser so it won't look as structured. But look at it, the curls are beautiful on this wig. The lace was super easy to work with. This wig is a 10 out of 10. And so now this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe so you won't miss any new ones. Until next time, baddies, bye.